Good evening. Today is Monday, December 21st, 2020. We're here for the purpose of the regular meeting of the Elmhurst City Council. The governor of the state of Illinois has declared a gubernatorial disaster proclamation in response to the COVID-19 outbreak, restricting individuals to gatherings of 10 persons or less, and all of the city of Elmhurst is covered by this disaster area. In light of the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak, the mayor of the city of Elmhurst has determined that an in-person meeting for December 21st, 2020 city council meeting may not be practical or prudent in light of the disaster. All of the aldermen of the city council participating in the December 20. First, 2020 City Council meeting, wherever their physical location, shall be verified and determined they can hear one another and can hear all discussion and testimony during their meeting, during the meeting. So I'm going to go uh, left to right from uh, my, uh, my view in front of me. I'm going to start with uh, our annex, public comment annex. Uh, Mike Kopp, can you hear me in there? He's muted. You're exactly right, Elaine. Get it together, Mike Cop. You're muted. There we go. go. All right. All right. Clerk Tamer. I can hear you. City Manager. I can hear you, Mayor. Alderman Molliner. I can hear you. I assume you all can hear me and can hear other people as well. Alderman Hill. I can hear you. Alderman Polomsky. I can hear you. Alderman Brent, uh, Brennan. I'm good, Mayor. Alderman Levin. Here you. Alderman Kennedy. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Alderman Cahill. Yes, Mayor. City Attorney Storino. Yes, Mayor. Alderman Toledo. Ten four. My favorite treasurer. Elaine. Oh, yes, I can hear you. I meant you when I said yes. my favorite treasurer. Did you? Alderman <laughs> Deuter. <laughs> and only. I can hear you. Alderman Vramus. Yes, I can hear you. Alderman Dunn. Yeah, I can hear you. Alderman Bram. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, YouTube Live, I don't need to check on that, do I? And I, I'll ask for the heck of it. Is there anybody on the line right now? There's no one on the line. Right now. Okay. All right. I have uh, checked and double checked that everyone can hear this, that, and the other. I would ask that you all rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. Indivisible. Under God, the Lord, in the in the in the for the injustice for all. Fantastic. Escort came to call the roll. Reuters? Here. Verena? Here. Hill? Here. Dunn? Here. Graham? Here. Polumski. Here. Cahill. Here. Toledo. Here. Park is absent. Levin. Here. Kennedy. Here. Hodquest. Absent. Brennan. Here. Mulliner. Here. 12 present, two absent. Conquest. Here. Thank you. Eleven present, one absent. Or Thirteen present, one absent. Thirteen present, one absent. I'm gonna do a sound check real quick. Go ahead, Jackie. We good? Thirteen present, one absent. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Thirteen present, one absent, Mayor. Okay. I'm gonna do a sound check for Alderman Honquest. Alderman Honquest, can you hear me? I can hear Mayor. Okay, great. On to uh, receipt of written communications from the public at this time. Is there anybody in the audience? I'm seeing none. Uh, uh, Mr. Kopp, is there anybody in there who has any written communications? 
No, there is not. Okay. Uh, that concludes agenda item two. Agenda item three, public forum. Uh, at this time, this is an opportunity for anybody uh, in the public to address the council on any issues or items they so choose. Um, out of respect for work that we're trying to get done and respect for others who may want to speak, we ask that you keep your comments to three minutes. If you go over three minutes, I will give you a gentle reminder and ask you to wrap up. Uh, we ask that you state your name because we are recording. However, address is optional. Um, Jim or Clerk Tamer, is there anybody on the line? Is there anyone on the phone for public comment? No, Mr. Jones. Clerk Tamer, did anybody sign in on your sheet? No, Mayor, there wasn't. Okay, so I'll go to the annex. Mr. Cop, is there anybody there for public forum? No, there is not. Okay. Um, checked all three places in here on the phone and uh, in the annex, and uh, we don't have anybody. So that's. Uh, Concludes public forum. On to announcements. Agenda item four. Any announcements from the dais? Clerk Tamer. Muted. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Today was the last day to file to be on the ballot for the April 6, 2021 consolidated election. For those that filed simultaneously at 8.30 a.m. on the 14th for the same position, there will be a lottery for ballot placement on Monday, December 28th at 9 a.m. here in council chambers. It will be open to the public and candidates do not have to be present and they can also send someone if they want as well. That's it, thank you, Mayor. Okay, any other announcements? I don't see anybody, city manager, anybody raising their hand? Okay, that concludes uh, announcements. On to consent agenda. At this time, is there any all around who wishes to have any item removed from the consent agenda to provide further comment or vote no? Alderman Bram. 5.15. Okay, anyone else? City Manager, anybody else? I will now entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda minus item 5.15. Motion by Alderman Mulliner, second by Alderman Bram. Clerk Tamer. Joyder? Aye. Verimus? Alderman Verimus? Oh, she's muted. She's at the opposite mute. Now. Aye. Thank you. No. Dunn, or uh, Hill. Aye. Dunn. Aye. Bram. Aye. Polumsky. Aye. Cahill. Aye. Toledo. Aye. Park is absent. Levin. Aye. Kennedy. Aye. Conquest. Aye. Brennan. Aye. Mulliner. Aye. 13 ayes, zero nays, one absent. 13 ayes, zero nays, motion carries. Agenda, uh, consent agenda minus item 5.15 is approved. On to agenda item 5.15. This is an ordinance. I would ask Clerk Tamer to read the ordinance. An ordinance extending temporary executive powers pursuant to section 3.16 of Elmhurst Municipal Code in pursuant to 65 ILCS 5 forward slash 11 dash 1 dash 6. But this poor council asked for a motion to approve the ordinance as read. Motion by Alderman Mulliner. Second by Alderman Kennedy. Alderman Mulliner, your motion. I have no comment. This is the extension of the executive order to allow you to have the power to do things as necessary if based on what the governor's uh, change of plans are. Alderman Bram, you pulled this. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, I do not support this. I think there's evidence that shows that over the many months that uh, the pandemic has uh, 
been around that we've only need or uh, the mayor has only needed to use this a handful or six, I believe it was six times exactly. Uh, most of which I would contest that uh, we could have handled within our own current procedures, uh, passing a report and or and ordinance or resolution the same evening. Therefore, I do not support this because I deem that it unnecessary at this time. Any additional comments? I don't see anything, city manager. Clerk Damer, please call the vote. Joyder. Aye. Remus. Aye. Hill. Aye. Dunn. Aye. Graham. No. Polomsky. Aye. Cahill. Aye. Toludo. Aye. Park. Absent. Levin. Aye. 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 Conquest. Aye. Brennan. Aye. Mulliner. Aye. 12 ayes, one nay, one absent. 12 ayes, one nay, motion carries. Agenda item 5.17 is approved. 5.15, sorry. Uh, on to uh, agenda item six, reports and recommendations of appointed elected officials. 6.1, Mayor Morley, that's me. A couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, um, we've been getting some great feedback and uh, I wanna thank um, Cassandra Schreff, uh, our police department, our prior department, public works, the museum, library, and everybody involved in our highly successful Christmas parade. I think uh, both Santa and Mrs. Claus made an appearance. Is that true, city manager? Um, we followed similar route uh, that we did for the Memorial Day um, convoy. And I remember at the time, uh, once we, when we pulled off that Memorial Day convoy, we all said, I bet this isn't the last time we use this. And I was glad that uh, we were able to put that hard work to use and uh, have been getting nothing but good reports on it. So truly appreciate that. Uh, I think uh, the impetus was maybe, was that Cassandra's baby? Is that, is that okay for me to say that? Um, Cassandra Schreff, the head of our communications department, um, deserves credit for, uh, for that idea. So we really appreciate that. I know the residents of Elmhurst and uh, the children of Elmhurst appreciated that. Um, we are just wrapping up our Elmhurst Loves Local contest. This is uh, something that you can read about on our Elmhurst website. Uh, it started on, uh, I wanna say uh, Black Friday, which would have been November 28th. Maybe that was a week after Black Friday, a week after. Um, and it went through today and it was a way for uh, us, uh, for the residents of Elmhurst to show how they're supporting local by submitting pictures um, featuring uh, local businesses. Um, although we are wrapping up today, I would encourage everybody to continue to support our local businesses as they try to navigate through these very difficult times. Um, and I know they appreciate it. I'm in contact with those businesses on a daily basis. And while they are struggling, one of the things that they all say to me is that they appreciate how much the Elmers community has come together uh, and supported them. So I would say great job Elmers, but keep it up. Um, finally, uh, I have some good news to report. Um, there is an Elmhurst family, Todd and Jennifer Sherman. And I talked to Mr. Sherman today and he said it was okay if I said where he lives. He lives at 760 Hillside. Why would a resident of Elmhurst want me to announce where they live? Well, that is because the Sherman family has won the ABC7 Great Chicago Light Fight. Uh, and that's basically kind of, a, I would say, the Clark Griswold contest of Chicagoland. And uh, it even says so that they have more than 25,000 lights synced up to music. Um, uh, so I would encourage everybody to go see the award-winning uh, light show at the uh, Sherman House. I will caution you, though, that I drove by this evening, and um, it was already jam-packed at 5 o'clock. Uh, so be careful. They've got a whole routine. You can sign in. Uh, there's an audio portion. They run hourly shows. So they really uh, have taken it to the next level. And when I talked to Mr. Sherwin Sherman, he said um, he really wants to thank the residents of Elmhurst. He thinks that uh, a bright light in an otherwise difficult year is something that we all need. And when he asked his fellow residents to get out and vote 
for them. Um, he said uh, he was not surprised how well Elmhurst responded. In fact, uh, when he was contacted by ABC7, um, he had almost three times the amount of votes as the second place vote getter. So very happy uh, to report that we have yet another award resting right here comfortably in Elmhurst during this holiday season, 760 Hillside. And I wanna uh, say thank you to uh, Todd and Jen Sherman uh, for making that happen. Uh, other than that, um, I'm not gonna speak for the chairman of the various committees because you know we still might have a meeting next Monday, but um, it's probably my last chance to address uh, council and the residents. I wanna say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and Happy Holidays and good riddance to 2020. <laughs> Um, I know that we have started uh, vaccinating people at the hospital. Um, there's certainly a priority list of uh, how this will be rolling out. I was on a conference call with uh, DuPage County Health Department today. Um, you can read uh, extensively as to the um, hierarchy and the priority list, but uh, the good news is um, I think there's one vaccine already here and another one will be here within the week. So um, uh, there's a little light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, that's my report, city manager. Thank you, mayor. Um, along the uh, storyline of the vaccines, I'm happy to report that about half of our fire department, um, the firefighters and medics have been vaccinated already. Uh, so we are working with Elmer's Hospital, very grateful for their efforts. Um, and our police have scheduled for the next couple of days to go through the vaccination uh, to, at Elmhurst Hospital as well. So we are on our way for our public safety members. They were in the 1A group. And uh, again, thanks to Elmhurst Hospital's coordination of that uh, to make that happen. So we'll continue working through Elmhurst Hospital as uh, the rest of, of uh, the department and uh, employees get uh, become eligible. And the other thing is just to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and happy, healthy, and safe uh, New Year. Thank you. Very good. Any other uh, elected officials? Alderman Kennedy, are you having a meeting in a week? Alderman Kennedy reports that he will not be having a meeting in a week. I am not having a meeting. Okay. Any other chairman wish to uh, jump in? <coughs> Alderman Toledo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was going to say this under other business, but you seem to want us to say it now. Um, we will, Finance Committee will not be having a meeting next Monday. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you, Alderman Polopsky. Thank you, Mayor. The Public Affairs I'll take this one. and Safety Committee will also not be meeting next week. Um, hope everybody has a good time celebrating happy holidays merry christmas happy new year and looking forward to 2021. On i will ditto the previous three messages happy holidays to everyone merry christmas we will also not be having a meeting thank you fantastic nothing but good news tonight anybody else see now we'll go on to agenda item seven this is an ordinance and ask clerk tamer to read the ordinance An ordinance waiving bid and authorizing the execution of a master services agreement between the City of Elmhurst and Payment Host Corporation. See item 5.10. With this uh, before council, I'll ask for a motion to approve the ordinance as read. Motion by Alderman Toledo. Second by Alderman 11. Alderman Toledo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I will defer if anyone has any questions. This is just a report. It's actually, there is a small Scrivener's error. Um, it refers to item 5.11, not 5.10. Um, I don't think that that prevents us from voting on this. It's, it's clear if someone were to reference the report, um, Paymentus report is on our agenda. It was item 5.11, not 5.10. Um, but the um, report is just to recommend that we move forward with this bill, electronic bill payment um, provider um, to begin taking electronic payments through our DACRA system for uh, parking uh, violation fines. Thank you. 
I think that Scrivener's error was uh, I think that corrected. Error was, uh, corrected. Because of the copy I have here at City Hall has it noted as oh, Okay, I mean, that's fine. My board docs, my electronic board docs. Oh, no, you're. No, no, I've got it. God, why am I getting so much feedback? Kennedy, can you mute? Kelly, Kennedy. Sorry, Mayor. So I've got uh, the. Uh, Paymentus report as 5.11. Isn't that what we're referring to? That should be 5.11. Oh, yeah. But I agree with you, it should not prevent us from holding on it. I apologize. You're right. Um, we've got the ordinance and the resolution stacked on top of each other. All in Toledo. So, yes, your point is, uh, is noted. There's a Scrivener error on 7.1 referring to item 5.10, and it clearly should be 5.11. Um, assuming both Noel and who was the uh, second? Alderman Levin, uh, you're okay with that notation? Clearly okay with it. Okay, uh, Alderman Toledo, were you finished with your comments? Yes, I was. Okay, anyone else? All right, uh, ask uh, Clerk Tamer to call the vote. Joyder? Aye. Varimus? Aye. Hill? Aye. Dunn? Aye. Graham? Aye. Polumsky? Aye. Cahill? Aye. Toledo? Aye. Mark's absent. Levin? Aye. Kennedy? Aye. Honquist? Aye. Brennan? Aye. Mullender? Aye. 13 ayes, zero nays. 13 ayes, zero nays, motion carries. Uh, agenda item 7.1 is approved. On to the resolution, which properly refers to item 511. Uh, I would ask, um, no, it does not. Alderman Toledo, you're saying it doesn't, you're shaking your head. Oh, it should be 5.1. So we got them flipped. So clearly I will catch on around 11 o'clock tonight. Okay, I get it now. Uh, so um, Clerk Tamer, when I ask you to read the resolution, do not refer to item 511. Refer to item 510, please. A resolution approving and authorizing the execution of the agreement for professional consulting services for electrical aggregation by and between the Northern Illinois Municipal Electric Collaborative, Inc. and the City of Elmhurst, DuPage and Cook Counties, Illinois. See item 5.10. Perfect. To put this for council, I ask for a motion to approve the resolution as read. Motion by Alderman Toledo. Second by Alderman Levin. Alderman Toledo, your resolution. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Very good. Clerk Tamer, I'm catching that on the fly. Um, yes, this refers to item 5.10, which we approved during the consent agenda. I will just point out that we are not approving an electrical aggregation program tonight. Rather, we are simply approving an agreement to work with a consultant to help us navigate through the selection process. And if we choose one in the future, to help us work through the communication of that program with our residents. Thank you. Additional comments? Seeing none, I'll ask Clerk Tamer to call the vote. Joyder? Aye. Varimus? Aye. Hill? Aye. Dunn? Aye. Graham? Aye. Blumsky? Aye. Cahill? Aye. Toledo? Aye. Clark Gapson? Levin? Aye. Kennedy? Aye. Honquist? Aye. Brennan? Aye. Mulliner? Aye. 13 ayes, zero nays, one absent. 13 ayes. 13 ayes, zero nays. Motion carries. Agenda item 8.1 is approved. On to agenda item 9, 9.1, other business. Any other business? 
City Manager, I don't see anybody. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Here's Alderman Hill. I missed you last week, Alderman Hill. All right, motion by Alderman Hill. And let's see, who's his ward mate? That would be Alderman Dan. Mot second by Alderman Dunn. Clerk Tamer asks that you call the vote on motion to adjourn. Deuter? Aye. Karimus? Aye. Hill? Aye. Dunn? Aye. Graham? Aye. Polomsky? Aye. Cahill? Aye. Toledo? Aye. Clerk absent? Levin? Aye. Kennedy? Aye. Hanquist? Aye. Brennan? Aye. Moliner? Aye. 13 ayes, 0 nays. 13 ayes, 0 nays, motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. We will talk to you next year. Thanks for all your hard work this year. Bye. Oh, happy, happy holidays. holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody.